Welcome back everyone. Not getting your money back after you paid for something is certainly frustrating and during a pandemic it hurts even more. Small theater groups, schools, other businesses trying to get by took an extra hard hit during COVID. Our call for action office got complaints about a company not holding up its end of the deal. Consumer investigator Kristen Byrne found out this is impacting ticket holders nationwide. We're not talking about a few hundred dollars. A lawsuit filed in another state alleges box office company Brown Paper Tickets owes nearly $7 million to event organizers and ticket holders across the country, including here in Wisconsin. That it's almost $11,000 that our ticket holders are owed. Over $7,000. About $16,000. Abby, Christine, and Kelly are not only out hundreds of dollars of their own money, but say the schools or small businesses they're connected with are out thousands after using the box office company, Brown Paper Tickets. We were supposed to do the Sound of Music at the beginning of April last year. Our poor ticket holders who were just trying to support our local high school theater production are, are out all of this money. Abby Galstead's show at Catholic Central High in Burlington was canceled because of COVID. People, including her family, bought tickets through the service and never got a refund. Kelly Bujak says, unfortunately, she can relate. I purchased tickets um, from the Holy Hill Art Farm, so it's well over a year now that I've been out this money. Christine Sur's event wasn't canceled, but she says her theater company never saw a dime. We were issued four of our six checks, um, but we couldn't cash them <laughs> because I we well, I got an email that said, if you're holding any checks, please let us know what they are and how much they're for. Um, do not deposit them. All of the women say they've contacted Brown Paper Tickets asking for refunds. You just kind of get the loop recording. You're never able to talk to anybody. Email, they say, isn't any better. Due to COVID, the response times are taking longer than expected. Um, and that's the exact same email that you still get today. She's right. We got it too. Brown Paper Tickets hasn't gotten back to us either. It uploaded a message on its website on September 14th saying that it is continuing to work through the backlog of refund requests and that it's giving full refunds to ticket holders and event organizers on a daily basis. About two weeks after this message, the Washington State Attorney General's office filed a lawsuit against the Seattle-based company. The lawsuit says its office received 583 consumer complaints against brown paper tickets from both event organizers and ticket buyers. More than 1,200 complaints about brown paper tickets is on the Better Business Bureau's website, which contradicts what these event organizers knew about the box office company before COVID hit. And they were the ones that got the, you know, the highest marks from all my, my colleagues. And yes. we've used them for years. We've used them for years. They feel differently today. The scary thing for me is that you can still go on to brown paper tickets and people can still book an event. We contacted Wisconsin's attorney general's office asking if our state has an active investigation into this box office company. We couldn't get that answered. We reached out to the Federal Trade Commission asking that same question. A spokesperson told us that they would let us know if and when they had something to share. For the I-Team, I'm Kristen Byrne.